I am officially back from Jeju. I had an amazing time. Uh, I swam a lot in the ocean. I ate lots of good food. I got good rest. And I also got a gnarly tan line. Uh, look at that. I did not vlog but I did take a lot of pictures and I have been posting them on Instagram so you can check it out on my Insta and also I uploaded like a short reel from my trip. I feel ready to work hard again. Today I'm just gonna take it easy, uh, I'm just gonna unpack because I got back late last night and kind of just asked out. Um, unpacking, oh gosh. I'm really not looking forward to that. I got a weird tan line here too. I must have missed a spot when applying sun cream. So over here is just like darker than the rest of my face. Alright, time to get up and do some work. Okay guys, so I'm trying this again. I'm gonna go to the gym near my house uh, and ask what the prices are because I forgot it's been way too long. I'm gonna get a consultation and see if I can sign up for this gym or not. Let's go. Hopefully I can. <sighs> Yeah, the music. I think I'm gonna start working out today. After I got home from the gym, I washed up, ate a quick lunch. It's been more than a year since the last time I actually went to the gym. Like I could do home workouts and I can also work out outside on the rooftop. But monsoon season is starting soon and also I just feel like I work out better when I'm physically at the gym. I don't know, that might sound like an excuse but I just find myself working out harder because like I'm in that environment, right? I, when I'm at home, I just get too easily distracted and I don't have enough willpower to continue with my workout when I'm tired. But when I'm at the gym, you know, everyone's working out super hard. Everyone's like sweating. That really influences me a lot. I have succeeded in signing up for the gym. The price was uh, cheaper than what I remember when I first went. A year ago I first visited that gym because it was like the only gym near my neighborhood and when I first went there after hearing the price I was like oh okay I guess not but they're having like a summer promotion and yes it's still a bit more expensive than the other gyms that I used to go to but I mean I think it's worth it because I just got to thinking like Okay, whenever I go out with friends, I spend so much money on food and wine and like I go shopping, buying clothes, but why do I hesitate when it comes to investing money for my physical and mental well-being? Like 
if anything, it should be the other way around. Like I should be investing more for myself and um, my health instead of spending money on materialistic stuff. And yes, like having wine and going out with my friends, eating good food is also good for my mental health. But um, there's nothing like exercise. On the way back from Jeju, I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna live a healthier lifestyle. Like I'm gonna try to be healthier. So far, it's okay because I'm still super motivated and inspired, but I know that's fleeting. That's not gonna last forever. That probably gonna last like a week at most I don't know so I'm trying to make exercising like a habit and prioritize exercise and going to the gym I've been getting like random moles all over my body but mostly my arms kind of getting concerned it's like super dark What's going on? <gasps> what the? Why do I have so many moles all of a sudden? Okay, the next time I go to the der dermatologist, I'm gonna ask. Yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys why I decided to finally go to the gym all of a sudden. I signed up for six months, so I'm gonna try to take full advantage of that. But I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm not gonna push myself too hard because I know I'm gonna get a burnout. So my goal is like exercise three times a week, like hit the gym three times a week. Wish me luck guys. I really need to start making it a habit. I'm back from the gym. I took a shower. I worked out three days in a row. I'm so proud of myself. I can't go to the gym tomorrow because I have NBC radio in the morning, but I went three days in a row. I think it's a pretty good start. This is how my hair looks naturally when I come out of the shower. It looks super frizzy. It looks... yeah. I didn't do anything to it. I just dried it. Um, that's why I like to take a shower at night. So when I sleep on it, it gets more calm. Right now, it's just like all over the place. Uh, but anyways, I bought some cauliflower two days ago when I went grocery shopping So I've been wanting to try uh, cooking cauliflowers in the air fryer So I'm gonna do that right now Also, it's been so long since I cooked on my vlog <sighs> It's not good It's not good I got these cauliflowers right here They're not in the best condition, but I'm gonna try to cut off the parts that are not that fresh. I'm gonna like take out the excess water. And put it in this bowl. Now I'm gonna add a spoon of olive oil. And then mix it up. I'm gonna put some everything but the bagel seasoning. I don't know, but I just want to try it. Oh, sh that's all poppy seeds. I hate poppy seeds. No, I want garlic and onion. Maybe I put a bit too much. I'm like thinking what else should I put on it? Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put it in. gonna make a little bit because I don't know how it's going to taste. I might not enjoy the taste of cauliflower, so yeah. I'm gonna put it to 180 degrees and first put it for like seven minutes. While I wait, I'm gonna have an apple. I didn't even have time to cut it because I was so hungry. I got this really cute fabric poster from Shen Noapari. Shen Noapari. It was actually gifted, um, but I put it next to my little dining area so it looks like I'm looking outside the window in Bari. Isn't it so cute? I love it. And of course, since that's not going to be enough, I'm also microwaving this chicken breast kimchi fried rice from I Am Top. Honestly, uh, this is my first time trying this but I don't think I'll be reordering because I don't know, it just tastes too frozen. It is frozen food and 
you're supposed to microwave it, but you can still taste it. It's not very good. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, just a little more. All right, for now, I'm gonna microwave this for three minutes and 30 seconds. Cauliflower is ready now. It looks scrumptious. Ooh, my rice is done too. Oh, All right, let me try the cauliflower. Oh, it's looking very crispy. Mmm. The taste like just reminds me of bell sprouts. Because I like eating bell sprouts air fried too, or like oven baked. It makes a great snack. I thought I would turn on the camera while getting ready today. My makeup has definitely changed, uh, especially because I got darker during my trip. So now I use the shade 23, which is still a little too bright for my skin currently. So I've just been using the shade 23 in the center of my face. I'm using Triarchy Cushion A Plus in 23. And I'll just take a little bit and start like under my eyes and i'll take very little i found a tip for doing your makeup under your mask it's just to minimize the amount of foundation as much as possible it's better to put layers if anything than to just put a lot at once because that doesn't sit on your skin and it's all going to transfer onto the mask but if you take very little like i'm literally just using these two fingers and taking the very outer corner of the cushion foundation and pressing it gently just to get this much and i will use that up for the entire cheek area 
if you feel like that's not enough coverage for you then I would say go in with the concealer instead of doing it over and over again also I hate the feeling of my skin not being able to breathe so that's why I've been just using very little foundation I'm not going all the way up to my forehead or all the way here along the jawline because this is too bright so it's gonna look like a full moon foundation is done and then I'm gonna take this Hera palette rose sunset as the base for my eyelids soul is in social distancing level four right now it's our first time going into level four because there has been a recent spike in the COVID-19 cases um which means that we can only be in groups of up to four before 6 p.m and after 6 p.m we can only be in a group of two or less that doesn't affect my work though so i have just been going to radio every day but i do get a little worried sometimes because we have many guests and many people going in and out of our broadcast building so yeah, that's just what's been going on in Korea these days. And then I'm going to use this brow pencil from Hints. You just want to get vaccinated already, but there's a shortage of vaccines here. So I don't know when I'll be able to get vaccinated. All my family and friends in New York are fully vaccinated. Seems like, you know, things are slowly going back to normal over there. And we're still here really didn't expect this to happen but you just never know with covid i'm gonna use this brow shaper also from hints and for my eyes because i curled my eyelashes i don't use mascara anymore so to make my eyes look more like defined i've just been using stila's liquid eyeliner to tighten my waterline See my eyes the left side and the right side the right side is like a little more defined so we've been on a break from the dive studios from filming get real uh, for the summer and we're actually gonna resume filming and recording later this week I'm really excited it's gonna be a brand new season of get real season 2 there are going to be some changes and they will be announced soon so Stay tuned. Alright, and after tightening my waterline, I'm going to create a little wing. It ended up being a little longer than I had hoped for. Alright, done with my eyeliner. For the cheeks, I have these four blush palettes that I bought from Naming. I discovered them through Instagram and I love their aesthetic of the brand so I wanted to try out a bunch of their products for today I'm going to use bagel this is called bagel it's like a rosy color oh I really like the color it's the kind of color I was looking for because I had a lot of bright pinks and bubbly pinks but not a lot of muted rosy tones so this is what it looks like and for the lips i do have like tinted lip balm on right now but i'm gonna go in with days also from naming this is also a tinted lip balm And with that, my makeup is done. So guys, if you guys have made it this far into the video, I have a special announcement for you guys. So YesStyle is celebrating their 15th anniversary and they sent me a surprise gift box with five products inside. So this box is supposed to give us a glimpse of what YesStyle is and why people have been using YesStyle for the last 15 years. And if you stick around till the end of the video, there will be a small giveaway. I'm gonna open the box right now. Oh, hold up, hold up. This is the Lipoki edition by Raw Man. So cute. 
So the lipstick shades are supposed to look like your lips after you've actually eaten tteokbokki. And this little egg is a mirror in the back. They actually collaborated with Pemin, Pedare Minjok, which is one of the most popular food delivery service apps here in Korea. This lid is honestly a little creepy, but we have this Dr. Jart's rubber mask. Wow, I did not expect this at all. <laughs> When you look at it, it just looks like a nail polish, but it's actually poo drops. Officially named toilet deodorizer. Very useful. This is the adorable paw shaped makeup brush. The top looks like this. Oh, it's so soft. Ah. Okay, and last but not least, I think this is a clothing item. Oh, we have two pieces a basic white t shirt that says day on the front. We got the same shirt. I guess from the same brand, but this says night on it. So, from the products that you saw, I can tell you YesStyle carries items from cosmetics, lifestyle, clothing, shoes, uh, even snacks. So, thank you so much to YesStyle for sending me this box and allowing me to celebrate your 15th anniversary together and also sponsoring this video. We will pick three winners in total. One winner will get free shipping on 15 orders. And two winners will win a $150 gift card to YesStyle. If you guys would like to participate, please leave a comment below saying happy 15th anniversary YesStyle and we will randomly pick three different winners. So good luck to everybody. More details will be included in the description box below. I will also include a 15% off discount code in the description box. So if you guys want to shop, you can use that as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!